Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Adam's Quest for Zelda Classic Part 3. If you notice a difference in my voice quality, it's because I'm using a brand new headset. Hope you guys like it. Let's delve right in. Now to locate level 4. Hmm. Well, I know exactly where to go, so don't worry. And we'll see what else we can accomplish in this part. Alright, let's hop these Buwaka rocks. Yeah, I'm trying not to talk too loud in this headset because it's really not necessary. It's going to pull me in well the way I'm talking now. It's going to take some getting used to because I naturally talk loud, so it's kind of hard for me to suppress my voice. I'll do the best I can for you guys, though. Alright, it's off these black moblins. Oh, uh, let's see. I think we got to go north from here. Yeah. Actually, I want to make my way back to the ruins first. I want to get a magic shield. Hopefully, I can remember the maze path well. I think we got to go left first, and then up, up, and then left again. Alright, let's go up twice. Yeah, try not to go up three times. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I did that the last time. Screwed up. All right, we got it right on the first try. All right, stay still. We got the levers. Yeah, I learned my lesson the first and second time. They ain't going to catch me by surprise again. Bitches. All right, stay still. Just inch towards them slowly. While jabbing them with my white pointy stick. All right, I know there's more. Oh, that's it? Okay, I guess not. Let's see what we got down here. Where's that store? I think it's another screen over. Move a guinea, you big fat weenie. Alright, I got the armbill statues. And stun! Kill! Down the stairs. Don't fall down them, like. Okay, let's see. Ooh, magic boomerang. Ooh, I might want to get that too. But first, magic shield. That's the higher priority right now. Alright, I think I'll get the magical boomerang after level 4 is over. I don't really need it right now. I should be, I should be straight. Okay, now to find level 4. And lucky for us, I know exactly where to find it. I gotta get back to where level 2 was, right around that area. Whoops, and that's not how to get there. Yeah, watch out for the Stalfos. One of them throws swords, I think I already killed it. And we got levers here again. Nope, they're done. I guess they stay gone for a while until you go far enough away from this place. Are they back on this screen? Oh, yes they are, son of a bitch. <laughs> Freaking hate them. Stupid red levers. Lever me alone. I will not stop abusing that joke because I like it too much. Ow. Cheap shot. Okay, how do I get out of this maze? I think we gotta go south to exit. Yep, that's the way. Yeah, I want to avoid getting shish kebab by the Moblin Spears. Okay, I think to get to level 4, we got to go this way, probably. Continue on to the right. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Yeah, I got to go through this forest maze again. Uh, nope, that's a dead end over there. Let's go up and around. Stun! And, yeah, kill this flame, just for the hell of it. Okay, let's go through here. Stun! Yeah, we want to get to this screen here with the raft pad. Or dock, whatever you want to call it. And now we set sail. And we're going to be heading into some arctic area. And that's where level 4 is going to be. And make sure you have some bombs. You're going to need them. And you'll see why momentarily. Urgh, where's my coat? I, I'm freezing just looking at this screen. Ooh, can we go up and get the heart container? Nope, we can't. Something tells me we're going to need something else. Wish I could take a stab at those Zoras as I'm sailing, but I can't. And if my mood sounds a little down, I just had another bad bowling night. Are you guys surprised? I've been in a slump lately. It sucks. So yeah, if I'm not too, you know, bouncy like I usually am, that's that's why. I just can't seem to get a 200 anymore. Freaking sitting in the 150s lately and it sucks. I mean, I got a 181 game, but that was about it. Yeah, my spare game's been horrible. I've been missing quite a few 10 pins and everything. Can't even strike to save my life. It's terrible. And then on the shots I throw well, I end up leaving splits and a bunch of corner pins. And I'm either hit or miss with them right now. And it's sad, because I used to average 210. What the hell happened to me? Yeah, I probably lack of practice. I don't know. Yeah, after this season's over, I'm taking a break, because I need one. I'm contemplating maybe quitting after that, or I don't know, but... The way bowling's been treating me, I really don't want to go back. Okay, enough of that talk. Now for that bomb part that I mentioned earlier. 
Bomb that wall. That little sand tile that Adam put there kind of gives it away. Lay a bomb. Now you make a staircase up here. Okay, before we go up it, there's another secret we got to unveil. Kill these blue gorillas first. Yeah, blue gorillas swarming this whole entire Arctic area out. They pop shot you with a boomerang every chance they get. And get under you, die. And play bomb. Aha! Let's see what we have here. How did you know I was here? You deserve this for finding this place. Uh, thanks. Ooh, 100 rubies. Well worth the trip. Alright, now let's head back to that monster staircase. That's going to take us to level 4. Stabby, stabby. Ow, you bitch. Oh, I hate those blue gorillas. They're very erratic. Ooh, rope. I made you hang, snake. Yeah, that stuff almost got boned. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I know. I'm terrible. Ooh, red lionels. Uh, what happened to their frontward walking tiles? They look awkward. It looks like they're sliding on the ground. Very odd. Yeah, my, my lionels did that in Castles of Peril, too. I don't know what happened. They're probably missing a, a walking... Look at that! They're not even moving their legs. It's weird. Very, very unorthodox. But yeah, just kill the red lionels, they'll drop hearts occasionally and sometimes bombs, I think. Ooh, rubies, rubies. Ruby in my booby. Yeah, I know, that didn't make sense at all. When you hit a dead end and feel depressed, play your recorder. Uh, I feel depressed for my bad bowling, if that counts. Oh, wait a minute, um... Oh wait, I don't think we get the whistle. No, actually, Adam doesn't get the whistle until after level 4, at least from what I saw in his run. So yeah, we'll get the recorder afterward. Um, kill the stop folks here. Yeah, only one throws the sword. Oh, actually, a bunch of them do. Eek. Yeah, my eyes are playing tricks on me. The Dongos in the overworld. Adam, you are a menace. Why would you do that? Oh, I caught two Dongos in one shot. Nice. Double bomb kill, or double Dongo kill. Ooh, more monies. Yes, I approve of this. Yes, 317. I got more than enough to get that magical boomerang later. That is going to be a trick. Uh, um, treat, I mean. Got. Do I have Halloween on the brain or something? Wow, I don't even know where that came from. Okay, more ropes. Go hang yourself, you snake. Okay, uh, I think we're closing in on level 4. Shouldn't be much to go. Oh, God, now we got blue lionels. I didn't realize that. Hey, quit gutting me. Oh yes, more bombs. Yeah, that magical shield definitely pays off for this area. They can block the Lionel swords. And we need the ladder to get that money. What's in here? Take this to help you out. One ruby, you cheap old man. Well, at least it's enough to get something from a vending machine. Hey, it's Manandala in the overworld. Again, Adam, why? You want to save your bosses for dungeons. Wasting them on the overworld, I don't see the point there. Oh god, and I'm missing badly with my bomb fire. And I couldn't one-shot. Ah, ah, right, I'll stab, 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 dog, okay. That works just as efficiently. And here is the entrance to level 4. We should be able to get this whole dungeon done in one part, I'm hoping at least. Aha! Let's go. Level 4, Mount St. Emily's Ice Cave. This music is rather interesting. And we got some yellow wizard robes. Greet them with a white sword to the face. Uh, let's see. Very interesting ice tiles, too. And walking on these doesn't actually slow your footing down. That's awesome. Alright, let's go to the left here. And this room got some blue like likes. Yeah, they appear in the original Legend of Zelda's level 4, so not all that surprising here. I'm surprised we don't have any Zoles in this room, just like likes and bubbles. Yeah, flame broil the like like. Seriously, these guys look like killer beanbags. Alrighty, let's go to the left now, see what we got in this room. If I remember correctly, it's Dark Nuts, mixed bag, got red and blue. Yuppers. Okay, let's gut these red dark nuts. Whoop, yikes. And let's bomb and weave around these guys. Yeah, red dark nuts aren't the problem, the blue ones are a little bit. But we but we have enough room in this uh, area to, to muck around with them. 
Just stay one step ahead and gut them with your sword as they pass by. Very simple. And this one's trying to surprise me, and he failed miserably. And now we have a key. And what do we do with said key? Let's go through here and I will show you. Oh, um, yeah. Let's dodge the wizard magic first. Oh, this room, okay. Yeah, I like the block formation in this room. The game tries to tell you, hey, this is the room before the boss, usually. But that's not the case in this dungeon. Alright, actually, I think we want to save this key. Is that this, uh, this left door actually leads to the boss, and we're not ready for him yet. We need to find two items and the boss key first. Uh, let me see, yep, push this block. And go north. And in here we got some keys that actually turn to fire if we don't kill them quick enough. And so I think they're the keys triple. Oh god. Get over here, you. Smoked his ass. Haha. -ha. Alright, fatty, get over here. Get rid of this fire trouble. There we go. Oh yeah. My wallet's getting filled up awfully quick. Alright, I think we gotta lay a bomb here and blow open a wall. Or a hole in the wall. Yes, not using the proper words. I apologize. I'm fumbling all over the place. Wow, Lamo is in level 4. This is new. Ow. Oh, heart, heart, heart. Yes. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. And hearts are good for your heart, too. And they don't make you fart. Yes, a whole lot of sense I'm making tonight. But hey, I gotta humor myself somehow. I had a bad bowling night, so... Making myself laugh isn't exactly a bad thing. I sure as hell ain't gonna be raging at this game. Because it's a piece of cake compared to bowling. Ow. Damn statue beam. Cut it out. Alright, one more shot on this red Lambo and he should be done. And he already opened his eyes, so he'll die. Yes, we got a key. And now we enter this room. What do we have? More statue shooters. And whiz robes. Orange. Or red. Yellow. What what the hell color are they? I'm colorblind. And beams just scattering all over the place here. Uh, okay, kill you. Block, kill. Oh yeah, my timing rocks. Okay, I got the rubies. Ow, you cheap shot. Hey, it's Gleok. Yeah, I don't fear a two-headed Gleok. I mean, we fight one out. Son of a bitch, my L pattern didn't come out well there. Aha! My L pattern's coming out right here. Oh, why did I run into his head for? Oh, well, thank the beat. Thank the bitch. There we go. And we get the compass. And you want to push this block so we access the north door. Haha. -ha. Okay, this room. Wow, super dark out in level 4. Adam, be cool, man. Luckily, the Super Dark Nut, uh, Super Dark Nut is actually blocked off by a river, so he can't charge us here. When he goes along the water, you can actually pop shot him with your sword. I think it takes six white sword shots to split him up in half. Or seven? Yeah, seven. Okay. That was the magic number we were aiming for. Alright, let's get rid of this blue Dark Nut. Because, if we get rid of him, we will get... We will get... Yes, the ladder! And now we can access the other portion of this dungeon, which is we, what we do by going left. Some blocks are heavy in here, and you need more strength to push them. The old man is telling you, yes, you need the power bracelet here. Oh god, run! Yeah, the door to the right is a toll room, or yeah, you pay with your heart or rubies, don't go there. And in this room, we walk through the wall. Yes, ruby room, gotta love it. Okay, we're done in here. Alright, now we want to go back into the southern room. And now we want to go right. And what do we have in here? Ah, yes, we got some bats. Advanced versions of the keys. Bats take more hits. I think they take like four hits or something. I might be wrong on that. Yeah, run into my white sword. It commands you to die. Yes. Now, looking at all this ice in here, it makes me thirsty. I'm gonna go for a nice cold beverage in a bit. And Lord knows my voice is going to need it after I'm done here. Come on. Walk into my sword. Alright, there we go. What's in the next room? Ah, we got an easy virus. Regular virus. Uh, better get some fire. So I can see the fire. See what I did there? <laughs> yes, I know. I'm terrible. Oh, God. More red bats. And we got bubbles too to wreck our day. 
Move it, sucker. Okay, dark room and more dark nuts. Okay, let's get rid of the red ones first or the blue ones if they try coming near me. Okay, I'm gonna loop around, there we go. Pop shot you. Man, I really wish I had the hammer, but I don't have that luxury right now. But I will make the best of this situation. Hey, quit your mind games. Oh, no, I don't. Ain't tricking me, bitch. Aha! Got rid of him, and die. Pop shot you. All right, one more duck nut to go. Come on. Come at me, bro. Come on. Get over here. Holman, there you go. Good boy. Now what do we have in here? Ah, oh, gels. We gotta kill these quick. They're gel trouble. They'll transform the zoles if you're not quick enough. And there you go. You got a demonstration. Okay, some monies. That is good. Okay, I think down here we want to go fight Manandela. Yes, there's another Manandela, if you can believe it. Hopefully we can one-shot this one. That'd be great. Hooray! I get some luck tonight after my crappy bowling night. Yes, I'm not going to live it down, folks. I should have gotten some 200s tonight. I threw some solid shots, and I got a 4-9 split twice. A bunch of 10 pins. Mm. I'm still fuming over that. And we got the power bracelet, or the power croissant, as Bolt, as Boltage McGammer used to call it. God, I miss him. He was awesome up here. Alright, let's go through here. Oh, Aquamentus. I can block his beams and I have the magic shield at hand. Ow. Hey, cut it out! Beams are not going to be right on top of him. I don't want to be a part of that sandwich. Oh, we got wall masters. I'm the metal woo. Oh boy, he almost had me there. Okay, now we got rid of them, and guess what? The bombs appear next to the wall. That gives you a clue. Bomb this wall. Go north. All right, and here we got some good does. Use the candle. You can get some good damage there. At least one good hit. Not stupid. Damn good does. Yeah, they do a whole heart of damage to the blue male. We were wearing green. Oh dear God, we'd be taken too. That's just frightening. Alright, we got some baddies. Let's get rid of them. Uh, I better light the room up first. I don't know what the hell I'm walking into here. Oh, okay. Not as bad as I thought. Okay, boom, rang these bats. And if they get close, I'll hit them with the sword. Whatever works. Alright, one more hit. Oh, Alright, we got rid of them. Now you gotta match this block puzzle here. Very simple. Okay, now we got red Lamoas again. Boy, Adam just loves abusing the bosses in this game. He has them in like almost every room sometimes. Luckily, the red Lamoas go down pretty quickly. Doesn't take much effort. Ow. One good jab from your white sword takes out their segments. Sometimes, if you're lucky, the whole Lamoa will go into your sword. Wipe it out one sitting. Ow, oh, bomb. Uh, I think we got a bomb to the left. Ow, stupid bean. Okay, let's go over here. And in this room, blue dark nuts again. Yes. Yes, as Adam said in his LP part, homage to level 5. He's got blue dark nuts in this similar room. I'm surprised this ice texture doesn't slow you down. I guess that'd make the blue dark nuts uh, a lot harder to kill, eh? <laughs> Normally I wouldn't mind that since I have the blue mail, so the extra challenge wouldn't, you know, really bother me much. But, thank god for small favors, huh? Now we don't have to worry about slowing down fighting these guys. Alright, that, yeah, eh, yeah, gotta get away. Not in a comfortable spot to stab him here. There we go. And push this block, push that block, nope, uh, this one. Aha! And we get the boss key! And I'm going to use the F6 trick in a moment, so we can get back to the beginning. Uh, actually, I can walk all the way back, it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get anything else done in this part, because by the time I finish this dungeon, we're going to be like 24 minutes in. So we'll go after the whistle in part 4. But hey, at least we'll have another dungeon done in this part, so we've accomplished something at least. Alrighty, Rue, let's push on through. Man, if I had some cranberry juice, man, I would make a freaking cranberry slushy. 
This ice really is making me thirsty. Just looking at the ice texture, man. I mean, slushies, ice cream, ice pops, anything. Just looks good. Oh, God. Guess I better save food talk for another time. Uh, boomerang these bats. Now the boomerang swing my sword. Get damage any way I can. Hey, get over here, bat. Hey. There we go, got rid of him. Now let's push on through. Hey, wiggle. Yeah, disappear. And thank god the Lamoas don't respawn. That would be one scary sight. Okay, go through here. Um. Ah, what the hell is blocking my way here? Oh. Yeah. Pays the light the room. Alright, let's go over here. Now we can actually go through this part now. Oh boy, fats. Yeah, there's actually one room near the beginning where you can fight blue gomas to get some extra rubies, but honestly, I don't really need them. I just want to get this dungeon done, damn it. Oh, rope twos now. Yeah, these guys aren't much harder. They just take a few more hits than normal. And they still bum rush you. Ow. Yeah, rope twos barely touch you at all. I think you only do like a quarter hard or something for each hit now. Oh, man, and the with red dark nut support. Eek. Try to wipe out this red dark nut first. The man Andal is not really throwing off a lot of beams for me to worry about it, so. Kind of treat it as a room with like four statue heads. Sorry, man Andal. You're my last focus. Alright, now that the dark nuts are gone, let's try and blow his brains up. Alright, man Andal, we're gonna ruin your day. Get over here. Haha! <laughs> Good. You ran right into my bomb. And we get the map this late into the dungeon. What the hell, Adam? What the hell? <laughs> Alright, one room away from the boss. This is good. Alright, blue dark nut. I'm gonna stay behind the blocks and just get some shots off on him. Alright, got him. Hey, you. Come get some. Yeah, I'm mooning you. I got my ass in your face. I'm trolling you because I'm better than you. Oh, dude. Yeah, take that. Yeah, try and go through the block. I'd like to see you pull that trick off. Alright, some more rubies. And now we gotta find the block to push. I think it's this one or that one. Um, this one. This one. Aha, that one. And guess what we have, folks? It's a Patra, big circle version. And wait for its widespread attack rubies, man. Go to town on it a little bit with the sword and back away. He's probably going to start spreading out again. Oh boy, barely dodged that. Take out his whole litter. Yeah, get away. Wait till he stops his widespread attack again. Yeah, after the third one, go in. There we go. Bob and Weave. Haha. And we wasted the Patra Big Circle version. And just like that, folks, we are done with level 4 of Adam's Quest. Yay! And we actually have a little bit of time to spare. So I think we'll go get the Magical Boomerang and then we'll call it an LP part. So that way we accomplish a little bit more. And thank goodness the Manandola doesn't respawn. I'd be worried. Alright, well actually, now that we've got the ladder, we can actually get the money after killing these Lion Elves. And I want more money. I could cap off at like 500 now since I have the uh, mini wallet or whatever. Alright, more money's in my pocket. Alrighty, I think we can leave this place now. I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Pick off these Stalfos. Oh, the Gongo, screw you. I already killed you once, that was enough. Oh god. I didn't know if that Stalfos 2 was going to throw a sword down or left or right or whatever. Alright, we already checked out that cave. Stun you. Move. I've already maxed out my rubies, so no need to kill these guys. Just stun them all. Yeah, Dark World music overused in most quests, but still very awesome tune. You really can't hate on it. 
You know what? I'm just gonna go explore the uh, uh, rest of this area. I'm gonna go another screen over and see what's over there. Oh, excuse me. Burp there. Oh! Another raft path. Ooh, must check this out. I, I wonder if this may lead to the other heart container that I saw earlier. It's worth checking out. Ooh, what do we got here? This scream secret. We gotta push one of these. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Aha. And... Whistle Cavern, huh? Very interesting. But you know what, folks? We're gonna stop it here. Sorry. <laughs> At least it'll give you guys something for Part 4. So stay tuned for Let's Play Adam's Quest for Zelda Classic Part 4 when we will attempt the Whistle Cavern. Later, peoples!